Well, in the morning we went out after Mountain Reebok, which Elandre knew would be easy to easier to hunt in the mornings, as they're a morning animal. They're out on the slopes warming up, and we uh, spotted a, a couple of three, and they got frightened off by Bontebuck, who bolted, and they disappeared. Then we followed another group across this little valley. And when they left, we could see that the first group was still within vision. We waited for the male who was down sleeping. I was on the sticks a long time, waiting for him to get up. Could have been up to an hour. When he stood up and turned broadside, I uh, shot him with a 30 out six and he laid down. On the right, that's 210. Okay, put your boat down. Okay, he's down. Well done. Congratulations. That's a beautiful mountain rebuck. Look how long his horns are. Right on the shoulder. Exactly where, exactly where you aim. Yeah, this is a beautiful animal. He's old. Look at all the scars on him. That's from fighting with other, other males. Um, you can just see he's also starting to go backwards now in condition. He's quite skinny as well. Um, and uh, you see it, some ears lost on the face as well, on the ears. But yeah, the, you'll see these, if you look at the color on him, um, they blend in so well with the grass here. Um, it's difficult to spot, them, especially when, there's, when it's overcast. You don't see the white on the belly sticking out um, when glancing for them. Well, I only hunted a mountain rebuck once. Um, but they're elusive, difficult to get close to. They live, of course, in the top of what we would call high hills in America, but uh, here are more mountains. And it's very open country, very hard to get close to them. And it was a very exciting hunt.